Finally in Victoria, which means it is freezing on a cardigan and it is grey so it's really dark and it means we want something yum and cosy to eat so I am making a Thai curry, um, beef Thai curry. There's probably a million versions of Thai curry and we go to Thailand. Something's leaking over there. And we go to Thailand next one. So we'll probably be a lot better at making some sort of toy. We'll probably be, blah, blah, probably, probably be a lot more knowledgeable in Thai food then. But for the moment, this is a very, very basic, straightforward, so let's say one, two, three, four ingredients. Thai curry because I think you would usually use fresh lemongrass and ginger and things like this but we don't have the space or the budget to do that in a camper van so all we have is beef. This will do two portions tonight and probably two portions tomorrow evening. We have red Thai curry paste. So this has all the ingredients, all the spices and things like this in it. Saves you buying fresh which we can't keep alive when we buy fresh herbs and spices and it saves space and we have just a tin of green beans. Again, you could buy them fresh, but we just buy the tinned version. It's easier for storage in the camper van. And we have the coconut milk that was left over from the gnocchi. If you haven't watched the gnocchi yet, it was so good. Another quick, simple, cosy recipe. So have a look at that video. And we're going to have it with some roti bread and some rice. So, first of all, the way the recipe for this is actually just the recipe from the back of the jar of the spice. That's how I learned. I'm sure going to Thailand will actually um, be slightly more slightly more um so first things first we are gonna put the pack of beef this is quite to be fair beef it was like ten dollars and we've used the strips like what you'd have in like a stir fry could use chicken but we don't i don't really like the chicken here. once you have browned the beef for a couple of minutes add the dye paste this one's only three dollars and it's actually the one we always get because it's our favourite. I like to use about half a jar. <laughs> totally depends on how hot you like it because this one is pretty hot. I think it recommends, oh no, it recommends half a jar. Let's stir that in. We'll now look a little like this. So, add the coconut milk. Make sure the heat isn't too high because you don't want to boil the beef. While the coconut milk is just simmering there, I'm going to drain the green beans and then we can chuck them in. You could add whatever veg you like, really. You could add in peppers or you can add in um, potatoes as well. Also works well in a Thai curry. Just drain the water. Usually when I make this at home, I use frozen, but obviously we can't use frozen here. Chuck those in too. This is why it's a good camper van meal. All chucked into one big pan, takes like 10 minutes, and it is bloody tasty. And there's enough to feed the entire campsite. Or enough for Darren for one night. Now I'm ready to dish it all. We've cheated, we've got the Uncle Ben's um, little pouches that go in the microwave, but you can you can actually cook these in a pan. Um, you just put in a little bit of olive oil, you could get in a frying pan, or you could just cook real rice. That's the microwave again. Or you can make hoose rice and just cook it in a pan. Hot on my hands and it's steaming up my glasses. I would also recommend to try your curry first for dishing it up. So many times I've tried it and be like, oh, it tastes a bit too coconut, it's not spicy enough. Chuck in a heat more spice and then Darren can't eat it because it's too hot. Now it's time to dish it up. Mm, it smells so good. This is going to be a really hard one to photograph to make it look pretty. It's really not Pinterest worthy. And it's such a shame because I often think the meals that look the worst taste. Sometimes the best. This is gonna be impossible to photograph. Make it look tasty. So, 
As I said, this looks really great. Why is it great? It's red. Darren's away to act surprised, even though he has ate this probably 20 plus times. Darren's away to act surprised, even though he has ate this probably 20 plus times. <laughs> this is the first recipe that you've actually made in before. That you've yeah. actually made in before uh, all the rest of them you made for the first time. Yeah, all the rest have been winging it, but this one I've made a lot. Yeah, let's, let's see how good it is though. It's still in a camper van, so it might be not as good. <laughs> Nailed it! It'll definitely be better than last time. Remember, it was still cold. Huh? We got some Roddy breads. Mm. Roddy breads for your head. And we have basically another pound left for tomorrow's tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. For tonight's leftover. <laughs> BTW, we don't live in a spaceship. It's because it's actually really hot. <laughs> this is a sun protector thing. No. <laughs> oh. We have to do them, Mr. Bish. It's good. 